What's up guys, Delivery Matt here, so we're back for episode 4 of Metallic Rouge. Now, the first two episodes, as you guys probably know if you watch them, which I'm guessing you have, were a bit rough around the edges. They were dropping a lot of names and they were doing a lot of fighting without explaining much of it, without tying it all together. So it felt a bit messy. And then the previous episode finally started to introduce some more plot. Now, in the previous episode, what we saw was there is a guild of Neons or like robots, AIs, that there are three factions, basically. One is the human faction who kind of likes treating Neons as, well, depending from person to person, but a race, or not even a race, but like, so products that can be used for human, for bettering the human race. Um, and like making things easier. Sure, some of them can feel sympathetic towards them, some of them f treat them completely like objects. From person to person, depends. But there's basically, this is the main human faction. Then we see a faction who's the altars, who are like basically the main bad guys, who want to create kind of a neon uprising, I'm guessing. I don't think it's been confirmed what their actual goal is, but that seems most likely. So either making neons and humans completely equal or even overthrowing humans um we don't i don't think we know yet and then there's this third faction which is like the free guild for neons which this guild i'm pretty sure is fighting to just get more rights for neons now whether that's being equal with humans whether that's overthrowing humans or whether that's just improving the life of neons just a tiny bit we're not sure yet but they have revealed that they're they are in contact with the altars, which cannot be the best thing if we're looking from the human perspective. But I guess we are going to find out, are the humans actually the good guys? Maybe the humans... We saw some humans aren't the best, so... I guess we're gonna go into more existentialism as we go. So let's go into episode 4 of Metallic Rouge. If you wanna watch this uncut and unblurred, it's gonna be on my Patreon, as always, link in the description down below, and let's go. Oh yeah, we saw this ship at the last at the end of the last episode. We don't know what it is yet though. The animation is stellar in this anime, by the way. The OST as well. The OST is incredible. Uh, let me do this. Maybe my face is a bit brighter. Oh, we saw this person. I think it's a girl, right? Let's see it. Okay. Who are you? You look fine. That was a weird cut. Oh, the OST is incredible. I love the different styles of OSTs that they have. Yo, Rouge? Wait, what? Is she in jail? Great song. I love Rouge's design. She's in jail. She's so cute. Oh, look at Naomi. Okay, because of... That's it, yes. So someone was setting her up. Hm. That's true. CFN, that's the free guild for Neons. Phantom Verde. Is, is that from the altars, right? <laughs> the bird looks flabbergasted. Ruju san. じゃあ。私もそこに。私が行きたいの。言ってあんたを手伝いたい。私に手伝わせろ。え? 
じゃあ待っててやるふ、うん、yeah this is the CFN right? Yep. <laughs> Is this too bright? I think so. Let me do this. This should be better. Ooh. <laughs> Okay, so they're not working with altars. They said they have contact with altars, but they didn't say they're working with them. Hmm. Who was it from? Yoroshi. Rouge. Oh, yeah, Rouge Red Star. Yes, that's correct. So, is she from Earth? We don't know much about her. She's so cute. Oh, it's this guy. Ooh. もっと自由に自分の欲望に忠実に生きればいい。殺したい奴を殺し、救いたい者を救えばいいんですよ。そうすれば、サラフィッツジェラルドも救いたいよね。彼女の歌が好きだったんでしょ。Oh yes. Yeah. Okay, now he's watching. So why are the humans trying to fight against the CFN? The CFN has been coexisting with the humans all this time. So why are they suddenly trying to suppress them? Yuval? Is he... Perhaps alive? Maybe? I don't know. Oh! Ooh! Is that a good idea? Picking a side like this? Uh, I'm not sure if it's smart picking a side. Oh, what was that? 
Who is this? Freedom and Phantoms, that's it. That's the name of the episode, okay. <sighs> Rion, okay. Uh, Alethea, yes. Oh, they're talking about Red Gladiator, obviously. Okay, okay. Oh, that's a creepy thing. Okay. Yo, I like her design. She looks like uh, someone from Persona or something. I haven't played Persona though. I heard there's a remake for 3 right uh, out right now. Apparently it's, re it's really good. That was easy. ルジュさんの能力を使えば大丈夫でしょう。これ以上近づけそうなんです。おい、死んでる。お前赤いやつの正体本当に知ってるんだろうな。って逃げられたんです。<笑> No, she didn't flee. Oh, does he know? Oh, okay, no, never mind. He doesn't fully know it. Yeah, okay. I found it weird. How they just kind of blurted out that she's a Neon. Oh, is he the one? Oh, he's the one who called for her or told her to bring her to Yuval. Okay. Oh, never mind. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Okay. Ah, it's this. It's Vash. Vash. Who? So that means that's altar. Who? Who? Okay, it's the altars. Yeah. Dude, Rouge is so pretty. Viola or Sarah?
Is this an original song? Or is this a pre-existing song? Also, what the fuck is... Okay. Okay, we're getting some more information here. Are those the two from the Immortal Nine that she supposedly killed? Probably, right? The two that they said that she killed? Yeah. Crimson Devil stained in the blood of your fellow Neons. Yes, we know that. That she's been fighting the Immortal Nine. And she killed three of them now. Oh! oh that was a sick. That was sick. A roundhouse? That was sick. The combat is just superb. Okay, this is getting really good. That's not better, Giza, is it? Is it? I don't think so. Better Giza is VA? I don't think so. He's fast. Okay, this is actually really interesting. Please don't let this be a 12 episode run. Ah, it might be. I feel like... Resisting what? It's this guy. It's the drunk guy. He's finally... Okay, he's coming into play finally. Dr. Avdal. Dumas. So he killed it. Uh oh, I don't like this. Something's gonna happen. Maboroshi. There's a movie called Maboroshi that just came out. I wanna watch it. From Mappa? From the writer of Anohana? Yup. I expected this. Is he one of the Immortal Nine? Who are you? He's a Neon. Is he one of the... Is he one of the Immortal Nine? He is! Okay, humans aren't free. あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違う。あ、違
That's so sick. Yo, and he's doing this while drunk. Now me? Oh. This animation is wild. This episode is sick. Verde? This is wild. Oh, look at this. This animation. She killed him. That's number four. I'm guessing that's an immortal nine. Eid? That's his Eid, right? That was a, that was that was really sick. I don't. I feel like they could make the fights a bit longer to make it have more impact, but I don't mind them being short. Like a short burst of good animation. She's so fine. <gasps> Incredible. Incredible song, by the way. Oh my god, the ending is so good. Um, okay, this was the best episode, or this is my favorite episode so far. Let me say it like that. Um, yeah, we got to see some glimpses of the story, or the back story, or uh, yeah, the background for Rouge, which I've been thinking about. Like during the episode, I was like, man, I really need some background on Rouge because we don't know anything about her. We heard from Viola that she killed two of the Immortal Nine. Plus Viola making it three and plus Verde making it four now, right? But we didn't know who the other two were. We know they knew their names. I don't remember them. But we didn't see them until this flashback. So we saw all four Immortal Nine that she's killed. We're guessing it's because it was her mission. But we don't know why a Nian like her is fighting for... The humans, I forgot Ath Athelia, so, I don't remember their name, but why she's fighting for them, we don't know that. Um, and we don't a hundred percent know what Alter's plan is or like goal, right? And also, we don't know why the humans started suddenly attacking uh, CFN, right? Is it does it have something to do with Jual or Yuval being attacked? Attacked, what? Attacked? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, attacked? Also, I'm not sure if he's dead or just severely injured. I thought he was dead, but he was laying on the bed and one of the Neons said that they don't want to leave him there. Just like run away, they don't want to run away and leave him. So it might just be they don't want to leave his body or he might actually be alive. I'm not sure, even though I'm pretty sure they did say, like Rouge did say, that uh, you killed Joal or Joal or whatever. So I'm not sure. But anyways, this episode was really good. And as long as we keep going like this towards the end, I have a feeling this is going to lead up to a be it being a 12 to 13 episode run. That's going to be extremely dense with information. So I think they can pull it off. I think it's, it's definitely getting better and better with each episode. I just hope they they managed to write up a nice, tight, packed, compact story. Because, you know, it's doable. We've seen it in Cyberpunk Edgerunners, so let's see if they can do it as well. I'm going to let Studio Bones cook 
even more. They don't look like they're overcooking just yet, but I don't want to sound too optimistic about it because you never know. So, knock on wood that it ends up being good. So, this is going to be all for me. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.